The memory of the Pope squeezing into a Korean-built compact car still brings a smile to the face of Father Hee-boon Nam. A native of South Korea, he now ministers to one of the largest Catholic Korean parishes in the United States, St. Paul Chong Hasong. He greatly appreciated the pontiff's choice of the Kia Soul rather than a luxury vehicle to cruise the streets. Using that compact car made by Korea, I think that showed Korea and also the world that he does, he, he lives what he preaches. As a priest, Father Nam says that what impacted him the most was the Pope's closing mass. The Pope spoke of the importance of suffering and forgiveness in achieving a reunified Korea. Father Nam telling me that when the Holy Father was speaking to bishops gathered before him from across Asia, he was delivering the message of the cross. You must be the first one to reconcile with one another. I think what Francis, uh, Pope Francis wants to what he said to everybody is mm -hmm. the tensions between North Korea and South mm -hmm. Korea as well, that we have to do the reconciliation mm -hmm. in, if we want the reunification. I asked Father Nam if there would be a reunification of the Korean Peninsula, divided for decades. Anything is possible, but I think we have to do it. Uh, and I think that's why Pope Francis really told the bishops and priests and religious in Korea, South Korea, that they have to start to leave the mystery of cross. On the trip, the Pope told a reporter that he would be visiting America in 2015. If that happens, Father Nam says that he will absolutely be there to greet him. Reporting for Currents from Flushing, I'm Katie Breidenbaugh.